Hey everybody. All right, let's try another example with Kirchhoff's laws. So let's say we have this circuit, and we want to solve for everything. So the voltage everywhere, the current everywhere. So let's start labeling. So how about I call this V1, I'll call this V2, and notice that this is the source voltage, these are the same, right? So I'm not going to pretend like I don't know that. So, And then I'm going to just write this the other way, like this, just to be different. Okay, so I label V3 that way. For current, I know this one already. For R1, I'll make current going this way. For this, notice that these are the same the current like this way, I'll call this I2, right? So the current here is the same as the current here. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four unknowns. So let's practice five unknown, sorry. Wait, I1, I2, V1, V2, V3. So let's practice using Ohm's law so that we know. Okay, so for this one, notice that voltage is positive going down, current is positive going down, so V equals IR. How about this one? Voltage is positive going toward the right. Current is positive going toward the right. So V equals positive IR. Then how about this one? Voltage is positive going up. Current is positive going down. So see how they're switched? So for that one, V equals negative I R. Right? So just be careful with how things are labeled. Alright, so now let's practice Kirchhoff's laws. Let's start off with KCL. And let's go with so we can go node we can go with node at the top or this one or this one and if we did both of them what happens is the equations would be redundant they'd be dependent on each other so let's just pick one or the other let's go with node A okay so node A looks like there's this current this way so I'll just draw that and then see I1 is going down and then I2 is going out to the right okay so let's pick is going into the node positive or leaving the node positive up to you it doesn't matter so how about I'm gonna pick going out of the node is positive so I1 is positive I2 is positive, and then that would be negative, equals 0. So that's KCL for node A. Okay, now, now let's try KVL. So if we went around this loop, that would accomplish nothing because we know this voltage is the same as this voltage. So let's go around over here. And then we can go clockwise, counterclockwise, totally doesn't matter. Up to you. So how about let's go clockwise this way. I'll call this path C. Okay, so let's start with, and then it doesn't matter where you start, I'm going to just start right here. So let's go up this way. So that's in the 
look right here it's in the negative v1 direction right so negative v1 let's continue going clockwise this way so this is in the positive v2 direction positive v2 and then let's continue going this way so that's in the negative v3 direction and then right so negative v1 positive v2 negative v3 and then we're back to where we started equals zero so there we go we got five equations for five unknowns okay so give this a try i'll see you online on the next video